there is a good chance that this vlog is going to blow your mind. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 213, and today I wanna to talk to you about a couple of new YouTube channels that I am launching. But before I do, do me a huge favor, click that like button, it really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. So let me take you back, what, a couple of months here. Do you guys remember the vlog that I did that I was talking about like artificial intelligence and conversion of you know different languages you know just by uploading my audio um, and video to a website that uses AI to change it from English into different languages and it literally makes it sound like you're speaking that language well I am happy to announce that we have officially launched a Dr. Cliff AUD YouTube channel in German Portuguese and Spanish, and it is absolutely crazy. In fact, you know what? Let me just go ahead and give you a little bit of a taste of what this is actually like. Um euer Gehör in diesem Jahr zu verbessern, sucht einen Hörpflegeexperten mit bewährten Verfahren für eine einfache Lösung. Das ist super einfach und effektiv. Hey, pessoal, se você quer melhorar sua audição este ano, precisa encontrar um profissional de cuidados auditivos que siga as melhores práticas. Si buscan mejorar su audición este año, encuentren un profesional de la salud auditiva que siga las mejores prácticas integrales. Now, I don't know about you, but this absolutely blows my mind what we can actually do with this artificial intelligence. And essentially, what the plan is, is that, you know, I've been able to educate the United States and other English-speaking countries but I have not been able to, as effectively as I want to, share all of this information about high quality hearing healthcare and hearing loss and hearing aids and treatment options and stuff like that with countries and individuals who speak different languages other than English. Now, you know, the question becomes is like, what percentage of the world population are we going to get with these three additional channels? We're probably not going to get all of them, obviously, but I think that it is going to dramatically increase the access to high quality information on hearing health care. And the fun thing about all of this is, is that you know, I don't have to learn all of these other different languages. You know, if I'm being honest, it's a little freaky what we're able to do with that technology that we upload me to it and it's basically me just getting converted and speaking other languages. Now, is it perfect? No, it is not perfect, but it is really good in the sense that I've actually had uh, clips taken, like videos taken, and sent them off to people who actually speak these languages. And they're like, Cliff, it's, it's not perfect, but it is really, really close. Um, you know, th there might be certain aspects of certain word choices that the, the artificial intelligence chooses to, to say um, that might not be fully contextual or appropriate given the particular context. But I think that um, for the most part, people are going to be able to get the gist of what's going on. Now, one thing that I'm, I'm not happy about is that I literally cannot afford hundreds of thousands of dollars to A, convert all of my videos over to these different languages, uh, or have every language accounted for, or have closed captions done on these videos. So I'm basically gonna have to rely on YouTube doing auto closed captioning on this, which isn't great, but it's better, better than nothing. So I had to decide like, you know, do I, do I not do this because I can't, uh, it's like $7 a minute for closed captioning. And I'm talking about thousands and thousands of minutes worth of conversion. And the artificial intelligence software for this ain't cheap either. It's like a dollar a minute for the conversion. So we're gonna pick some of our, our more uh, popular videos and videos that are uh, contextual to other countries too. So like we wouldn't take a video talking about insurance here in the United States and then convert that into these different languages that don't apply outside of the United States. Now, of course, is there a percentage of maybe Spanish speaking or Portuguese speaking individuals here in the United States that it would apply to? Yeah, so we're, we're maybe missing some people, but uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I feel, I feel like um, doing this is better than not doing it 
because we're not able to do it at the highest level possible. The answer is that they are currently just in those locations, but Hearing Up also has a lot of additional resources on it that would be very good for individuals who speak these different languages. So you can actually go to hearingup.com. In the top right-hand corner, you can actually do a drop-down to select the language that you would prefer, and then you can read that website with that different language. Um, this has definitely been a large undertaking. Um, unfortunately, and you guys, if you watched my vlog last week, you know that my editor basically up and left um, without notice. Um, honestly, I don't know if she's okay, if she's like hurt somewhere, or if there's just like no uh, electricity or internet where she's actually at, because she actually lives abroad. She does not live in the United States and the channels are not built out as much as I would want them to be. There was about 15 videos on each channel that I wanted converted um, in addition to what she had already done. So there's probably like maybe 15 or 20 videos per channel right now in terms of long form videos. And I wanted another like 10 to 15, I think, on top of that. Uh, so we're, we're not coming, we're not releasing those channels with as many videos as we wanted on them because typically what happens when you release a new channel you want a bunch of content on that channel already so once someone starts watching one video they go and end up watching another one and another one and another one if they like it um, we do have a good amount of i want to say 20 or 30 youtube shorts on each channel right now so that's a great way to kind of you know get people who speak these different languages to at least be aware that there is a channel that's associated with hearing care uh, that speaks the language that they want so i i don't feel like these channels are going to take off immediately just like when i started my original channel english dr cliff aud that i mean that took you know a year before i got any what I would say substantial traction. I mean, there would be videos that I would release that over the course of six months, they would have 10 views. So like, it just takes time for these channels to kind of get up and off the ground, but I kind of know what I'm doing more now. Um, my assistant, Bree, uh, who is gonna be my assistant here for hopefully a while longer. She's about to go on her fourth year externship. So she might not be able to help out as much with getting some of these videos converted over for these different international channels, but I'm pretty excited about it. It. Like if you want to go check them out, they're basically uh, the Dr. Cliff AUD channels that have Portuguese, German, and Spanish uh, in the title of those channels. So if you want to go check them out and give a couple likes to the videos and watch a couple of them, even if you can't understand anything of what I'm saying, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you happen to speak English and you also speak those other languages, if you could give me feedback on how the translation is working, that would be greatly appreciated as well because obviously I do not speak those languages, so I'm kind of like taking the artificial intelligence word for it uh, when they redo these videos, so it's kind of crazy. But I think that this is kind of the next step for me, which is expanding the knowledge base for people around the world when it comes to hearing care. By the time I'm done, I just want people to have access to really high quality hearing care no matter where they live. Like I just, you know, I know that other countries don't have it as good as the United States when it comes to technology and, um, you know, uh, other countries don't maybe not have, don't have as much money as the United States to spend on hearing care, but that doesn't change the fact that people should have access to high quality information so they can make better informed decisions about their hearing treatment. And, and I just feel like if I commit a good amount of, of time and money to developing different language channels, that that's kind of a way of giving back a little bit in, a, in kind of a weird way. Um, because honestly, that's the thing of value that I provide the most of is just knowledge to people about treating their hearing loss uh, and what their options are. So like even if you don't come and see me or any of the providers inside of my clinic in Phoenix, Arizona, at least you have high quality information. And I feel like I've been to some degree spoiling uh, English speaking countries, but neglecting other countries who arguably need that information even more. Um, but nevertheless, um, guys, I really appreciate you hanging out with me on this. I'm super excited for the release of these new channels, even though it was delayed a little bit because my editor just up and left. But uh, if you could do me a huge favor, like I requested before, 
give me a like on this video, go over to the new channels and like them as well. I will try to link them in the description below. And as always, I will see you next week.